Crafters and welcome back to another vlog and in this video I'm going to be showing you my newer NW8000 professional microphone. So we're going to go straight into it. This is my microphone that I ordered on Amazon for about £37. So this is the newer NW8000. So last time I got I think it was the newer 7000 or rather 700, 800, I don't know. I'll have to look back in the video and have a look for that. But this is a high up one. I think that this is the highest one you can get. I don't I don't know, I'm not quite sure, but um, when I got this, this is feels very, very light. Obviously, I set it up already, and once I set it up, I give it a quick test go, and there was an echo noise, and that doesn't mean straight away, bang, all the game was gone. That meant it was coming through the speakers and doing that cycle as it did again, but I am able to actual game, because there is a slight in the noise, but um, I can obviously edit that in the background, and if I take the top off there's a nice gold steel part at the top for the actual sound to come out it's very very clear it gives sound quality really really crisp it picks up loads of different sounds if i make a little sound like this it picks up everything so it's really powerful it's very light obviously it came with all that equipment that i had there we came with this scissored arm stand with a pop filter so that's it there, I attach this to the bottom of the uh, table and then the pop filter's like that and then I speak into it with obviously the microphone there. So I mean there, so obviously I'd be um, talking into it and then uh, uh, the sound uh, will be um, more crisp. Now a lot of people are thinking what is the pop uh, filter for instead of the foam cap here. Well the pop filter is to stop the p and the p and the bits that you spit with saliva this stops it. Now, you obviously can't see with this, but it has two layers of the leather sort of um, shield, and um, it has two ways, because if I did spit, and that slightest spit did go through there, it stops it on the other one. So this is really, really good, and it makes your voice very, very clear, and it makes the p and the f noises very clear and you can hear every single detail, so that is really good. Also what I got with that microphone, instead of getting a USB microphone, that the USB microphones do make a tiny bit of a noise, an echo noise, but I did go and get this. This is a power supply that I did show that I did have a power supply, but the main problem about it is this one says NW100. We don't know at the moment, that is me, my mum, Emerald Gamer, we do not know 100% if this is the right power cable for that microphone because this is the NW8000 and this is the NW100. So we absolutely don't know if that power supply is meant for that microphone but um, we are still testing it and just to see if we can make the sound more clear for me to have for my gaming. Also what I did get was a nice set of these headphones that it's really clear and these are wireless KS headphones so um, if you can hear now when it turns on I love this bit oh yeah um, that bit turns on obviously I can listen to myself and there's a really really clear sound if I listen to music or anything it doesn't go that loud it doesn't go that small but it is a really good clear sound obviously you can talk to it if, so if I was chatting to one of my friends on Facebook I'd be able to listen to them and talk to them so it's a microphone as well so these headphones are really really good and I do like them um, so good styles in them at the moment we're still wondering about the microphone there is a question that a load of you guys have been asking when are you going to do gaming and guys I am because this little baby here will do gaming. Now the one problem is if we definitely cannot go and get the background noise edited, hopefully I can, but you might hear the slightest, slightest, slightest in the background. But that will be okay because I will keep on talking and hopefully I'll edit the background noise. So everything will be nice and clear. So let me put the pop shield back on. And um, that is mostly it for that. So I will show you some documentary now of the microphone. So I got some documentary here. So this is the newer NW8000 condenser microphone. And the specifications, the polar pattern is anti-directional. Frequency response 20 hertz to 18 kilohertz. The sensitivity is negative 
34 decibels to a positive 3 decibels. Self noise, 16 decibels. And uh, it needs a phantom power supply, 5 volts or 48. And I think I've got a 48 to one. I think this one's a 48 anyway. But um, yeah, so it sh shows you how to use it. So it says turn on your recording equipment and set the volume control to minimum position, then connect the phantom power supply to the microphone. Turn in the phantom power switch on, according the volume control to a low to high, so obtain, so that means like keep medium to make sure it's not too loud and not too quiet, so once you start with the microphone it's a, it's a good uh, volume. Then it says here, protect the speakers and headphones from pounding to cause a howling noise. If the head of the microphone is covered by hand or brought close to the speaker, a howling sound may generate. So that is when it goes through the speakers and yeah, that makes a rah, rah, rah. It's sort of like an echo noise. People call it a howling noise, people call it a whistle noise, people call it a dog noise, a seal noise, hippo noise, I don't know. That's what they call it on YouTube. Make sure you clean and protect this microphone at all costs. Hit or apply strong shock to it uh, to avoid damage. To maintain the sensitivity and quality of recording, please make sure you keep it at okay temperatures. So it, it gives you a good documentary there. A bit confusing because it's got a bit of a posh, a couple of posh, wo posh words in there. I can't even say that then. And um, yeah, it, it doesn't actually give you exactly like what to do. Obviously in here it tells you how to link it up to a Windows 10 PC that I've got. Um, it tells you how to use it and how to boost the volume up. And I think that's very um, handy. So uh, it says here, what comes in the box? A high quality recording condenser microphone, an adjustable microphone stand, stand clamp, shock mount, pop filter, microphone windscreen, and a 3.5 male millimeter cable. So that really wraps it up for my microphone this week. So this week has been actually very busy. Um, that's why I haven't been making so many videos, is because I'm mean, trying to get that microphone to work as a perfect condition and make sure it's perfect quality for you guys to hear. But I will keep you guys updated on the microphone. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out.